Hey, this is Scotty for Content Creators. I am been dealing with an issue of Adobe Premiere Pro crashing, and today is November 22nd of 2020. Adobe Premiere Pro has been released with a new version, which would be 14.6, as you can see on my screen here, I hope. It's my first time using OBS and doing it this way, recording this way, so forgive me. But I've been dealing with crashes in a row, and it's been driving me nuts. So if you're on version 14.6, I hope this will be a solution for you to prevent you from having crashes and being able to work on your video. So let's get right into it. Let me show you real quick. So here I am on my project file, AUM, not this one. That's version two. We won't get into that now, but AUM podcast from June 26 with Jason Mile. So we'll go into the project file and everything starts up as normal, right? And when I started this project file, I started just working on this project file maybe a couple of days ago and so this project file has been with the older versions of Adobe Premiere Pro not 2019 or anything it's been 2020 but maybe it was like a 14.3 14.4 version I don't know but today as of today when my computer just updated to version 14.6 in Adobe Premiere Pro I dealt with this crash this morning so this video is going to be super current because I have solved this issue in real time. Now, if you look on my screen here, I'm using this screen of myself and Jason that I'm going to convert into an IGTV video or a TikTok video. I don't know. But as you can see right here, I play on Jason's logo, Salmon Tail Sports Nutrition. Oh, is it good? Is this good? All right. Oh, yeah, it's great. Everything's stuff. working fine. Everything's oh, yeah, working perfectly. Stuff, okay. But if you see here, when I grab the clips, I highlight the clips, and this works with anything too. And I move it one line above to get to the next visual layer, V6. Look what happens. I let go, you see I'm moving the cursor. All right, you, now it says not responding. Boom, we're at the crash. We're at the crash site, just landed. So at this point, what I do, and I'm sure you may have gone through this, and this is the only, problem and solution I have for this one so if you have any other problems and solutions that I haven't encountered yet I'm sorry but this is at least for you guys that maybe have dealing with this Adobe Premiere crash for version 14.6 right now because you've been working on an Adobe Premiere video editing file like 14.4 14.3 or whatever right so looking back on my screen here I ran the task manager because I am using a Windows system so at Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 I'm going to end the task we're back on my screen and now we're gonna go back into Premiere Pro and my computer rig it happens to be a very good computer rig at least I think so it's running at 64 gigabytes of RAM it has a lot of mem memory I bought external hard drives external SSD, SSD drives and the computer processing AMD Ryzen number 530 2700x or something like that but anyway so we go right back into that original project file of where their crash occurred and once again you're going to see me highlight the clips and the reason why I know this is because I've done this 10 times in a row and it was driving me absolutely insane move these clips up again you see how I move the clips up from v4 v5 going into a v6 v7 new layers for your video clips same thing happens it crashes again it freezes actually it technically freezes Adobe can't figure out what's going on Windows can't figure out what's going on completely snowed out now we go back into the task ma manager go again and boom we end the task now we gotta start all over all right I already looked online there's a couple of answers so I tried one solution first it didn't work but I'll t give you that solution because I did clear out my media cache first and then I did this new solution so we're gonna start up Adobe Premiere Pro once more and rem to remind you this is version 14.6 we go into go back into AMB podcast with Jason Mile and this even let me to add this in is that when you're also using the autosave functions it'll 
you will encounter the same issue, the same problem, and it will still freeze and it will still crash on you. So it doesn't matter if you go into the auto saves or you go into anything else, it's going to crash on you because you're using so far a project file that was used in the earlier versions of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once it updates, the format of the system is completely different or it's been modded in a way where it's not as compatible anymore so it causes the freeze and the crashes. And that's just my working theory, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So here we go, we're back in the original file that crashes all the time, whether it's autosave or not. I go over here to, go into over to edit, I go to preferences, then I go to media cache for you to go to it too, right? And then now we're gonna hit delete to clear out all the unused media cache files and that would be things that you pre-rendered. So you're gonna have to render certain elements within the timeline again, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue unless you've done like a lot of motion graphics and now you gotta render a lot. So that's to your own discretion if you want to delete the unused media cache files. It's not like completely important. It's not like debilitating, but it might cause you to Use extra time in editing your video. So we go here, I would go delete unused media cache files. You can completely skip this step if you want to, right? So the real working solution, and I've used this solution actually on many other versions of Adobe Premiere, or when I've, I need to revisit a project file and I see that it starts to crash. So this is the solution that I have found that really works is that, okay, once you've done the clearing of the deleting the media cache, we're at the, the, the crash file, the freezing file right here. So now from our crash file, we're going to create a new project file. Either you go into file, hit new project, or you do control alt N to create a new project file. So for simplicity's sake, I normally would title this the same project, but I would say it as AU1 pod 2626 Jason Mile version two. But for simplicity's sake, we'll just do FCC YouTube crash solution. And then we create that. So now it's a new project file. So before you saw this, I actually had dealt with another crash in real time when I moved this project file into a new area of Adobe Premiere, creating a new window pane, window panel. Don't do that. So stay on your window box right here that's highlighted that says, for me, project FCC YouTube Crash Solution, while the other one says project AUM Pod 2626 Jason Mile. So from your new project file, go towards your old project file that's been crashing on you highlight everything, and then drag it over to your new project file and drop it into the import media to start. Now right there, you have all of your original clips from your crashed file into a new project file. Now go to your project file. Actually, before you go to the project file, hit control or hit save, so control S and I think it's uh, command S for Apple, correct? And I'm sure someone's gonna correct me on that. So you save that, go back to your original project file here to the right, and then close that one out. So go to close project from file to close project or control shift W at the same time, which I personally like to do and take that out completely. So now all you're left with in this project file is the new new file, which in my case would be FCC YouTube Crash Solution. So from the Crash Solution, all you gotta do from where I was working at originally would be at the KI IGTV timeline. So for the KI IGTV timeline, I click on that. Once again, if you look at my screen where I'm doing my little circle thing with my cursor, that is my original clips. So from previously, you notice that every time I move my original previous clips towards the V6, V7 layer of video, that it crashes. But now I can move it up and now it creates V6 and V7 as, a, as the visual layers. 
So now I can work I in my video and not worry one. about it crashing like the other one. So of course, you're going to need to make sure that you stay organized with everything and that when you save it, because when I save this, it's automatically saved towards my autosave folder and then depending on your specifics of where you're saving things. But you, you know, I'm sure you can just go into the Windows Explorer or the File Explorer for Apple and find your project file. So remember the name of your project file, right? But, and make sure you save it too. So save it. And now to show you once again, I'm gonna quit. And I'm going to reopen that file and we'll go into the crash file right here. I move it up and there it goes, it crashes. Go into visual or V6, V7, it crashes automatically. White out screen that happens. Go to my control alt delete task manager and we're going to end that task. And we're gonna restart it again. And where did I save it? See, this is what I'm talking about. I forgot where I saved it. And it's right here. No, it isn't. So I saved it here on accident on the auto save solution uh, in section. So go and click on the FCC YouTube crash solution. And here you go. Now you have your original timeline, your original project file. As I open my other project file, as you can tell, like this is about three hours of, or actually two and a half hours of video right here. And now it works completely fine with all your visual layers on top here. I hope I made that somewhat clear. If I didn't, you know, just leave that <laughs> the rating and talk crap if you want to. It's, it's all good because it's my very first time. But I hope that is a workable solution for you if you have found out that your Adobe Premiere project has been crashing and has been freezing and you're unable to work with your project file. So once again, I'm going to repeat the point is that you go back into your file, make a new project. And when you create that new project from the same window panel, because if you go and you use an, and move that project into another window panel for you to be able to see it more clearly, it's going to freeze. So from working in the same window panel, from that project, click over to your original crash project and move all of your clips, highlight all those clips and drag it over into the new project working in the same window panel. The moment you've done that, go ahead and close out the crashed file project of the older version of Adobe Premiere Pro and save your new version that is now completely updated to version 14.6. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, comment below real quick. It's only gonna be hopefully pertaining to this problem because it's the only problem I've encountered, but I'd have also encountered with other issues in Adobe Premiere. So if you have any couple, couple questions or anything, I'll answer it real quick. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. But hopefully that helps. And keeping in line with four content creators, the only thing that I use to record this video is my phone and a tripod. And I also use the OBS studio program to record my, my screen capture here. And of course I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my video. So if you want to start creating videos, go ahead and download OBS studio. It's for free. Adobe Premiere isn't for free, but you can, download DaVinci Resolve, I think number 16, and that's for free. And if you want to start making videos where you're talking directly to a camera, you don't need to go out and go buy a camera. If you want to, go ahead and go buy that toy. But all you really need is your phone and a tripod, of course, to keep your phone in position. So I am Scotty for Content Creators. Thank you for bearing with me for my very first video tutorial. We'll see how many more of these I do. I will only do these if I do encounter a problem and that I've found a solution for. And I'll relay that to you. So if you have any other questions, whatever, comment, like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. We're all good, man, it's all gravy. And also I'll include links to 
the things I have mentioned down in the description box below. And of course, those are affiliate links. You don't have to click on them if you don't want to, but they're at no extra cost to you. And you know, I make a little bit of a commission on it. So we're good. Thank you. Much love, many blessings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Booty in your face. <laughs> we found true happiness.